Hi everyone, it's your favorite Minecraft nerd here. Before you crucify me, I wasn't able to upload for two weeks because my brother destroyed my microphone with this stupid teddy bear. And I, the badminton champion, will be getting my revenge today. We're gonna be abusing this bear today. Get in the ground, right? Stupid trash. trash. I forgot to do one more thing. Bro, what are the neighbors gonna think of me? As you all know, I've done this top five thing on my channel two times, and it has always been the top five best. But this time, I'm gonna be doing the top five worst drag clicking mice that you shouldn't buy. I'm going to be trying my best to show as much proof as I can to support my claims through multiple sources, other YouTubers, and descriptions about each mouse. Now if I list your mouse in the video, don't get triggered. I'm not saying the mouse is bad, I basically mean that there are better options than it. In the end, don't take it the wrong way. Please subscribe and like, only 1% are subbed and that really hurts my Minecraft heart. Consider joining my Discord server, link in the description below. I also plan on expanding my content eventually, so stay tuned for that. Without further ado, I hope you enjoyed the video. Starting at number 5, we have the Rokat Cone Emo. So before you slap me in the face, the Cone Emo is not worth its price. Like bruh, it is $100 and you can't even get the most CPS out of it compared to other drag clicking mice. I did say this was the best mouse in my top 5 best video, but please forgive me, I realized that it isn't the best. Now this mouse might be great for other things, but to be completely honest, this mouse isn't really worth it like for $100. In this price range, you could get the Model O which is way better for PvP, it's light, and it's a good drag clicking mouse, and tons of other mice that are good for drag clicking in this price range. For $100, it weighs 130 grams which is decently heavy, I even have some videos of people drag clicking on this mouse. Now most people get 20 to 40 CPS on this mouse, unless if you can get more, but I'm talking about majority. If you kind of think about it, 20 to 40 CPS isn't really worth the $100 when you can get a better drag clicking mouse which can get more CPS for way less money. For number 4, we have the Red Dragon M711 Cobra. Alright, so I did make a tutorial about it and I mentioned it in the top 5 best budget mice for drag clicking. The reason why I moved on from the M711 Cobra to the Rokat Kane 100 was that it was only $10 more and the CPS and options were simply just way more better on the Kane 100. The M711 had literally no debounce time control, it felt very plastic, and honestly, 20 to 25 CPS for myself and most people isn't enough. It was also very heavy, weighing at almost 204 grams. Like, that is extremely heavy. So if you are on a very, 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 very tight budget and simply want a double clicking mouse, then it can still be considered. Mr. Derpinati and Boyton Analytics, the same thoughts as me. Be you. Uh, well, I bought the M711 because of misdemeanors and a bunch of other people bought it because of me and Flowways, I think. But yeah, it's time to stop. And, and like, uh, it, it, the mouse has changed, and uh, the drag clicking stuff on, on the uh, Red Dragon, they're the old Red Dragon M711. The new stuff, the new new batch, yeah, don't you, you shouldn't buy it for drag clicking anymore. I mean, you shouldn't buy the Red Dragon like, in general for drag clicking because it's not very good. Red Dragon M711 for drag clicking. I basically said that it had inconsistent drag clicking capabilities and that it took a long time for, I guess, beginners to learn how to drag click well on it. And if you don't know, we three, including misdemeanors, made the M711 stand out. 
if you can just save a bit more you can get a way better mouse than this or you could get the m601 instead i hope you don't take this the wrong way but i'm going to be completely honest For number 3, the SteelSeries Rival 3 is not a good mouse for drag clicking. $50, I don't really see the potential in it. It's almost like the M711 Cobra, but it's obviously way better quality. The only reason why I put it for number 3 is because the CPS you can get for $50 isn't really enough. Majority gets 20 to 25 so it's just like the M711, but way more expensive than it. Rival 3 is pretty good for PvP because it's decently light at 77 grams, but again, for drag clicking it isn't worth the fifty dollars for number two we have another rocat mouse called the rocat burst pro i'm so sorry rocat i've been roasting you a lot now bedless has made a full review about this mouse but i'm going to take parts and quotes from his video to prove my point here. The Briss Pro costs somewhere from $60 to $100 and in return you're not getting a good mouse. Bedless mentions how he only gets 15 CPS when doing a long drag. So um, as you can see in the thumbnail it says I wasted $60 on this mouse. So this one is the Rockhead Briss Pro. It's actually not a really good drag clicking mouse. I'm gonna show you guys right now. This is me long drag clicking. Normally this should be like 20 CPS, but this is only like 10 CPS. And only 10 CPS when double clicking. But although it doesn't drag click, it does double click. It still has a double clicking function. I don't know why they still kept that. So he talks about how hard you have to click on the mouse for a click to register. And by the way, this mouse is not good for clicking also. Um, you have to click kind of hard for like one click to be like... Clicked. <laughs> what am I even saying? But yeah, the button... It's like, you know, compared to the rocket, uh, the other rocket, this one, you have to kind of press like pretty hard for one click to be registered. One good thing about this mouse is that it's incredibly light at almost 68 grams, which is amazing. Overall, for drag clicking or any other clicking methods, this mouse isn't really worth the money. For more info, I have Bellis' video in the description below, as well as other videos too. Alright, so the grand finale. Number one disappointed me the most. Surprisingly, this is another Rocat mouse. I feel like Rocat is just gonna like make a diss track on me right after this video. The Cone Pure SEL is a horrible mouse for drag clicking. The funny thing is, this mouse has a very hard time double clicking. I'm not the only one saying this. Some of these guys that have actually owned the mouse have tried it. Coming from ZJet, he tests this mouse out for himself and you can clearly see how much of a hard time he's having to double click and drag click. I, this is strictly a helpful video and I'm just trying to show my honest opinion about this mouse. As you can see, you can obviously hear me drag clicking and there's no clicks being registered but I'm just trying to show like that it can't a lot of people also ask me if it's if you can butterfly with it she can do overall this mouse is not that good all the mice i listed in the video could at least achieve 20 plus cps but this mouse could not drag click at all which is why it's so disappointing also i just want to clarify something not all rocat mice are good at drag clicking which is something i want everyone to know about it weighs around 88 grams which is the exact same as the k100 or the other models overall definitely wouldn't recommend a mouse like this which costs 50 dollars and can barely achieve at least 20 cps PS. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to see all the informational guides to each of the mice I listed in the video, they will all be in the link in the description below. Remember, I don't hate any of these mice I listed. I just wouldn't recommend them or think that they are the best. There are way better mice out there in the same price range, which is why it's a good idea to save up a little bit more. If you're a bit low on money, I've made a best budget version of great dry clicking mice on my channel, so you can check that out. Without further ado, I hope you learned something from this video, but other than that, I hope you all stay safe. Peace.